All right, friends, it's time to recap last night's Women Tell All. What a great episode. Rod, strap yourself in. It's going to be right. I'm here to learn and ask probing questions. Joining us now is the beautiful Vanessa Grimaldi. You know her and love her. Her and Nick Vial back in the day. Well, she's found a new love. Go check out her Instagram. And she joins us this morning from Montreal. I want to say bonjour and buongiorno because she's a fellow Italian living and in hello. Montreal. Buongiorno. Hey. Bon morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. So good to have you here, honey. Now, Roger is a skeptic, and he's joining us on this journey because we love us, all things Batch Nation. And I still haven't watched the show. You still haven't watched the but show? But I, 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 know, I know the show through you now. Thank okay. you. Okay. Spoiler alert. It's enough. Let's start with the uh, rose ceremony Moni, last night, Vanessa. We're talking about two women. Well, we thought it was two women. And then mm -hmm. enter. <gasps> wait a minute. a twist? Madison returns after Never leaving the that. show. Shakes things up. So Victoria gets sent home. He chooses Hannah Ann first. And then, of course, Madison, what do you think about this? Do you think she's going to look past the fact that she said, please do not sleep with any of the other women or I'm out? And now she decided to stay. Big surprise. I think whether or not you are a virgin coming onto the show or not, if you feel your connection is so strong and authentic with the lead of the show, you don't want them to be spending that kind of night during Fantasy Suite with the other women. So I don't know if she's necessarily going to stay. I'm happy that she did say yes to pursue the relationship a little bit longer to see whether or not she could move past it. Mm -hmm. But all in all, I'm, I'm Team Maddie. I totally get it. Me too. And then, of course, there was the women tell-all where they all jumped on this and her ultimatum saying, was it right for her to give him the ultimatum? She signed up for this show. She knows what the fantasy suites mean and the overnight dates. Yeah, but can't she just give that ultimatum anyways? Yeah. He doesn't have to agree to it. And he didn't. Yeah. What did you yeah. make of all that when the girls were debating at the tell-all whether she should have given the ultimatum? I'm with you, Vanessa. I think she had every right to say it. They're just saying she should have said it sooner and explained that she was a virgin going in sooner. No, I, you know, I, I have, there's such this, this, um, whenever you're on, on The Bachelor and if you're a virgin, it's, you're labeled as the virgin. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you should be labeled or titled as what your sexual orientation is, whether or not you are a virgin. And I'm happy that she did wait till the end to say it, because if not, the whole story would have been the fact that there's a virgin on the season again. And of course they always end up putting someone that is a virgin on the season. Um, so, again, I don't think that she needed to necessarily disclose that information before. I, I think sexual orientation might be important for the show, though. <laughs> Let's move on Let's move to on. other things like Champagne Gate. So there was Kelsey. People were saying she was being tapped to be the next Bachelorette. They didn't choose her. We'll get into that later if we can. But she was known for crying a lot, so it's hilarious that they brought back Ashley I, who was also known for shedding a lot of tears, and presented her with a giant Ashley bottle cried. of champagne. Ashley cried. I think that was great. fun. I think it's so important for uh, for Bachelor alums to support one another. Um, and I want to get into also how Rachel came on the, um, uh, at, at Women Tell All at the end of it. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I think it's really important for... I was happy that Ashley I came and supported her emotional state yeah, because it's hard. You know, you live through it. Let's talk about Rachel Lindsay. She, of course, was the Bachelorette, uh, the first lead in the franchise uh, as a black female. They haven't done it since in 2017. She yeah, talked about cyberbullying. And as you mentioned, it's so important to come forward because the attacks on social media for this show are brutal. I can only imagine. So brutal. I actually just went on Twitter right before coming on and someone had sent me a hateful message. And I'm like, oh, well, this is going to change my mood a little bit. Um, yeah, I think, well, first and foremost, I think it's it's really important for Bachelor alum to support one another. So if we're going to be attacking each other on screen, it's allowing and opening up the space for other people to be attacking us as well. So I think that's a lesson learned from this season. You're so right, yeah. Vanessa, how have you, are you used to it now, or does it bother you still when you get, like, the one you got this morning yeah. on that, that tweet? No, I think, I think I have a much thicker skin. I went through states of depression coming off of the season, for sure. Um, it was really hard having all this attention, new energy, um, everyone basically criticizing you, or even if they're showing you love, I think it's, it becomes this sort of mentality where you're looking for the negative comments, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of had to shift my attention and my energy towards the people that were sending me love. Hey, but it's easy. Speaking of, that's great advice. Um, Kelly was noticeably absent. She was the one who had met Peter at a wedding. She wasn't there last night, so we're going to find out her whereabouts because usually it's contractual, right? You have to be part of the women tell all if you're in the show. Also, I need your input on Claire Crawley being announced the Bachelorette at 38. You know what I think, Vanessa? They were saying they made this decision last weekend. It was very recent. 
I think they saw the seniors. The response to the seniors one, right? And people saying you need this 30, 40, 50 something market tap. Absolutely. So they went and dug into the archives and they chose. What do you think? Dug into the this? archives. No, no, because they never do this. <laughs> it's so random. She was part of like the two bachelor in paradises. They usually don't like it when someone's too and played she was out. Yeah. Bachelor Winter Games. Yes, the Winter Games, where she was with, help me, the Montrealer, help me. Yeah, Montreal. Benoit. So she got East Benoit from Montreal. Yes. Uh, I love that you know all of this. So. Yes. So happy. I think, you know, after Peter's season, many of the contestants were much younger. So having a more mature um, group of men, I think, is going to be interesting to see. And I think as a 38-year-old woman, um, you know, Rachel Lindsay was also in her early 30s, mm. and she is the most recent bachelorette that did get married to Brian. So it's, I, I'm so excited to see it because you want to see these authentic, real connections mm -hmm. happening. And there is isn't, there is no divorce rate in bachelor history. So I, I'm really looking forward to, to a great love story for Claire. What would, you, what would you like to see for the age range for, age range for the men there? Um, I would like to see it in, you know, from 30 and up. And I mean, I, I don't think she's opposed to dating someone younger because I think Benoit is younger than she is. Yeah. Um, so, but it would be interesting to see someone in their 40s because I don't think we've seen that yet. And I love that they're coming with life experience yep. and baggage and wisdom because like this whole 20 year old narrative, I didn't really connect to the finalists this time, Vanessa, I'm going to be honest because they are so young and you could just see but they have so much. they're good eye candy though. They're all fun to look at. But so right? is 38, 48, 58 is great eye candy. Okay, like go, go, okay. please. I'm not wearing a Speedo at 52, okay? I won't lie. <laughs> Vanessa, thank you so much. We love this wrap up. Let's do it again. So good to see you and you are happy in love and you deserve it. You have a heart of gold. Thanks, Bella. Thanks. Bye guys. See you, Vanessa. Check in.